European football since 1973. Yesterday, in the northern Italian town of Lucca, they played a 1-1 draw against Lucchese of the Italian Serie B. Look North cameras were in Italy with the team and the fans to bring you this exclusive report. Tuscany, the Garden of Italy, the birthplace of Puccini, passionate about music, passionate about football. <laughs> Equally passionate, at least about football, Newcastle's fans. Harry Palmer and the rest here to support the lads in the Anglo-Italian Cup. Tuesday night, a Newcastle train high up in the Tuscany hills. We're looking forward to the game. I mean, uh, people say it's not a big competition, the Anglo-Italian, but uh, the club have entered into it, so now whatever team the boss picks to, to play tomorrow, then obviously they'll do our best. We've got our pride to play for at the very least, and we've got people listening back home. We've got a lot of fans who've travelled over to, you know, at a large expense, so we've got, to, we've got to perform for them, if nobody else. It's a hard session for Harry and the lads, too. Bright and early next morning, at least the players are raring to go. Can't get five minutes rest at this place. In the town of Luca, life goes on as normal, unaware of the Geordie invasion about to take place. Well, we're inside the old city walls of Luca, and frankly, as a city, this must be unsurpassed for its beauty and its history. Now, whether Lucchese's football will match that beauty. Well, that remains to be seen. The traditional Italian greeting was certainly colourful enough, despite the tiny crowd. Newcastle had their moments early on. Lee Clark's cross, Sheedy's drive, just wide. Franz Carr made good progress down the right, his cross causing panic, but how on earth did that stay out? But it was Lucchese who struck first, thanks to bad Newcastle defending. Bruno Rousseau's shot deflecting in off Barry Venison. Newcastle's reply came early in the second half. The ball finally nodded in by Bjorn Christensen, much to the delight of one fan. Lucchese opened up after that and showed some glimpses of quick attacking play. Pavel Cernicek had to make a string of saves to keep them out. Lee Clark, mind you, could have stolen it for Newcastle. His head had brilliantly pushed clear by the Lucchese keeper. Another deflection, though, coming up from a thundering shot, nearly robbed Newcastle right at the end. But I'm just sorry because we didn't show them what we can do. We were just a bit dead. The pitch was dead and we went along with it, you know. And um, we've got to improve 50% before we think about going to Charlton on Saturday. In una video cassetta, confermato. So he, he, he thinks that Newcastle is a very good team, so he was impressed. It was always going to be difficult uh, down here. They play typical Italian style. When they lose the ball, go back and defend with nine men, and we couldn't really break that down. <laughs> back home, was it really worth it? Brilliant, mate. Aye, great. What about the game? <laughs> Dodgy. <laughs> ah, the game was crap. Love them. Was it worth it? Yeah, definitely. Always worth it. This lad hitchhikes all the way to the way. I hitchhiked that way. Yeah. When did you leave? After the match of Sunday. After the Swindon game. Excellent. Fantastic trip. Uh, really good. Going to Bari? Oh, aye, definitely. We'll be there.